It's becoming more and more common these days to be working with a large number of channels. This is where something like groups can come in really handy. Groups are simply a selection of channels that you can quickly recall. So instead of having to go through and individually type in whatever channels you want, you could recall a group. So let's say right now I want to build a group for my four front lights. Well, I'll select them. So one, channel, four, through. And then I'm going to push and hold record and hit group. This is going to prompt me with the record group message. It's going to ask me for a piece of text, so I'm just going to type in fronts. Because these are my front lights. If I want to record another for my scrollers, I can clear my selection by double tapping clear. Hit 6, channel, 20, through, and now hit record and group again. Notice it automatically changes to be record group 2, the next one in my group list. Type in scrollers here. And hit modify. Now, if I want to access these groups back, I can just say one group. And notice how it immediately selects my channels 1 through 4. I can now set a level. Or two group and set a specific level like 50, and hit at level, and those channels will jump right there. The more complicated your show becomes, and the more channels you have to work with, the more helpful groups can be. So now that we've recorded some groups, let's take a look at our group list. To do this, I simply tap group once, and we can see that now we have a list of all of the groups we've recorded, and notice that the channels are listed in the order in which we've recorded them. If we want to take a channel out of this group, we can select it and just drop the intensity down. We have to update it now to make sure that this change stays. Hit update, it'll ask you for a confirmation, and go ahead and hit modify. We can reverse this process to add a channel back in. So we select a channel, give it some intensity, and hit update again. Modify to confirm, and we're done. To get out of this screen, simply hit the escape key.